All right, now we're going to compare Bella, this Malinois puppy, to Gus, a German Shepherd puppy. And the comparison that we're making uh, is uh, basically, uh, we're going to try to make an objective evaluation of their build and their ability to navigate the small challenges course. Okay, so pay a special, uh, especially close attention to how Bella moves and how easily she navigates these obstacles. How lithe, how agile, how she has a natural sense of confidence and uh, nice proprioception, you know. And the, where the confidence comes from, guys, really, is that she's good at stuff. You know, everything we do with these Malinois, easy. Uh, of course they're confident because they're good at it. I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, if everything you tried to do your whole life, you were good at basketball, you were good at football, you're good at soccer, then of course you're gonna be confident no matter what sport that you go play with your friends. Well, that's how Malinois are. Now, German Shepherds started off, uh, they used to look just like Malinois, you know, and, and uh, somehow over the course of the years, they've morphed. And uh, so kind of what we see now is a big split in the athletic prowess of the Malinois and the German Shepherds. And that's not me throwing German Shepherds under the bus, you know, but just a lot of people ask me to compare the dogs and uh, today I have two here, so I thought this would be a good chance for me just to put them on video. And then you guys can compare and contrast uh, in the comments below. Up, up. Good. All right, this is my little buddy Gus. And Gus is a German Shepherd. He's two weeks younger than Bella. And we're going to walk him around. Up, up, up. And I want you guys to pay like really close attention to the way Gus manages to negotiate these obstacles okay and if you need to back the video up at this point compare Gus's top line compare his rear end compare the angulation in his hocks to Bella's okay and uh, then come back to this point and watch how they're able to negotiate the uh, small challenges course and now Gus, he's got a good mind. You know, he like really likes to work. He's very pattern cognizant. He's uh, naturally a good guard dog. He's got a lot of good qualities. But we have to break Gus's training day up into a lot of sections because he gets fatigued very easily. The reason that he gets fatigued very easily is because his body is not in balance in the same way that the Malinois bodies are in balance. So one of the things that you always have to keep in mind when it comes to training is like how is your dog built for the training exercises that you are engaging in all right so for us like we're big believers in exercise brings out the best in a dog so we want to come out and we want to exercise so that we can be sure to develop that brain body synergy you know we want that mind working at hundred percent and we want the body working at hundred percent but we also have to always be realistic in what a hundred percent looks like okay so what a hundred percent looks like for Gus is not the same thing come on hop up as what a hundred percent looks like for Bella and if you watch this video a couple of times I think you'll you know kind of see the obvious reasons why so what I do when I have two types of dogs that are similar but different like say Bella and uh, Gus is I have to like design my training program in such a way as that the exercises are challenging mentally and challenging physically but not so challenging that I'm going to induce failure all right, so Gus and Bella learn in a very similar fashion. Uh, they're both very pattern cognizant. They're both pretty easy to, to, uh, uh, to motivate, okay, in terms of like doing things that, that are easy for them. Like they like petting and praise. They like food and attention. They both like to fetch a little bit. But if you'll notice, like as I made it around the course, Gus, due to the fact that his body doesn't work in a super efficient manner, he's already kind of tired. And this last little impediment where we get up on the exam table is hard for him in a way that it's not hard for Bella. So mentally, he's giving the same or maybe more effort than Bella. But Bella looks like she's giving more effort because she does the exercises with more vigor. Okay, come on. So we'll try to get uh, we'll try to get Gus to put a little second effort in. And if he has a hard time, I'm just going to help him. Okay. So keep that in mind when you're training this various types of dogs. Now I'll try to get him to stand up. 
one more time so you can kind of look at this part and then you can re rewind the video and uh, look at how Bella looked. And I think when you look at the two different uh, dogs, you'll see what I'm talking about, about how they're built differently. And since they're built differently, the, the training exercises feel different to the dogs. And you need to take that into account when you're training. And I think if we were to have an honest uh, conversation, we would start to take that into account when we're breeding dogs. Okay, and so uh, like I said, you guys can uh, have at it in the comments below and tell me what you think about this comparison. See you next week.